1.47 a.m. December 19th, 2025. Seismic station UWD detects another tremor pulse beneath Kilauea's summit. But this is not random volcanic noise. For six straight days, the mountain has been swelling like a balloon under pressure. 25.0 microradians of pure ground deformation. Since the last eruption paused, that is 25 times faster than normal volcanic inflation. Fast enough that scientists can measure the mountain growing in real time. Fast enough that emergency protocols are quietly being updated across Hawaii County. Fast enough that even the experts are asking questions they do not want answered. Because buried in the monitoring data is a pattern that has been building for weeks. Gas emissions are staying at triple the normal rate even during eruption pauses. Ground temperatures are climbing around old fissures. Micro earthquakes are clustering exactly where previous episodes began. All signs point to the same narrow window from December 22nd to December 27th. The mathematics are simple. The implications are not. If episode 39 follows the escalating pattern of previous episodes, fountains could exceed anything recorded in this eruption sequence. But what if the inflation rate itself signals something more dangerous? A system under stress that is about to fail in ways no computer model has predicted. Kalawia's volcanic activity stretches back millennia. December 2024 marked a seismic shift in its behaviour. After two years of relative calm, the summit awakened with a new eruption pattern, not the sustained lava flows of previous decades, but episodic bursts. Fountains of molten rock surging for mere hours, followed by days or weeks of tense stillness. The cycle repeated with mathematical precision. Inflation, explosion, deflation. Rinse and repeat. By late 2025, Kilauea had completed 38 eruptive episodes, each following the same relentless script. Magma accumulates in shallow reservoirs, deforming the summit. Pressure builds to a critical threshold. Gas pistoning events signal the imminent blast. Fountains rocket 200 to 1,200 feet skyward. The summit deflates and the sequence begins anew. But with each iteration, the violence escalates. Episode 1 brought modest 600-foot fountains painting the crater floor. Episode 35 unleashed 1,150-foot jets hurling fist-sized tephra onto Highway 11. By episode 38, triple fountains exceeding 1,000 feet obliterated US Geological Survey, monitoring cameras with searing spatter. The pattern remains, but the threat amplifies with every cycle. To crack Kilauea's code, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has deployed an arsenal of cutting-edge instruments. GPS stations track summit deformation down to the microradian. Thermal satellites map subterranean heat Seismometers record the mountain's every shudder, and gas sensors detect volcanic exhalations. Equipped with this unprecedented data stream, HVO's mathematical models can now forecast eruption onsets days in advance. A seismic crystal ball. And so far, the predictions have held. 38 episodes were foretold with pinpoint accuracy. Kilauea operates with the mechanical rigor of a pressure cooker, magmatic fuel in, explosive energy out. Until now. In the realm of volcanology, inflation is business as usual. As magma rises from the depths, it shoulders past unyielding rock, blistering the surface millimetre by millimetre. GPS stations track this gradual bloating over months or years, until the volcanoes magmatic pantry overflows. It's a stately process, bound by the patient physics of fluid and stone. But Kilauea is done waiting. Episode 38 concluded on December the 6th. Based on prior patterns, scientists anticipated a one to two week lull before the next inflation phase. Instead, the deformation began immediately. Not the sluggish millimetric creep of yesteryear, 
but a dizzying hourly surge. In a mere six days, the summit has ballooned a staggering 25 microradians, a pace that would typically span months. Even more baffling are the gas emissions. During previous eruptive interludes, daily sulfur dioxide outflows plummeted to 1,500 tonnes before bottoming out near 100. But since the finale of episode 38, Kilauea has continued belching 3,400 tonnes per day without pause. It is as if the volcano never stopped erupting, even as it simultaneously reloads for the next salvo. Stranger still, the magma resupply rate seems to have skyrocketed overnight. Either the subterranean plumbing has dilated, or the deep magmatic engines are now pumping overtime. Regardless, the mountain's internal pressure is mounting faster than any previous cycle. Rapid inflation, sustained degassing, and amped up magma injection make Kilauea resemble a volcanic system on fast forward. HVOs, once reliable models designed for weeks long cycles, now spit out eruption forecasts on the order of days. Where they once afforded the luxury of a fortnight's notice, the algorithms currently point to a single 120 hour window from December 22nd to December 27th. As the volcano accelerates, the mathematics constrict. But is Kilauea adhering to a new schedule? Or is this anomalous behavior the harbinger of something more severe? For residents of Hawaii's Big Island, Kilauea's accelerating clock portends an array of imminent hazards. Halemo Ma'u Crater lies cloistered within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, but the impacts ripple far beyond the park's permeable perimeter. Enhanced seismic jitters could destabilize the crater's already precarious ledges, spawning rockfalls that imperil visiting throngs. Noxious gases riding on prevailing winds threaten to choke downwind communities, exacerbating an already dire air quality crisis. Most critical of all, if episode 39 outstrips its predecessors in magnitude, it could overwhelm even the most proactive safety measures. The infrastructure scars of prior episodes serve as ominous precursors. In episode 38, molten shrapnel from 1,000 foot fountains obliterated scientific monitoring equipment a half mile from the vents. Roadways as distant as Highway 11 were pelted with fist-sized volcanic hailstones. Solar panels powering lifeline instruments shattered under the onslaught of ballistic projectiles. Episode 39 could rain devastation on an even grander scale. Aviation, the linchpin of Hawaii's tourist lifeblood, faces the spectre of an aerial apocalypse. Imagine 1,200 foot fountains ejecting ash plumes into the heavily trafficked flight corridors, crisscrossing the Big Island. A single errant microparticle can choke a jetliner's engines, spelling calamity for the island's tenuous transportation tethers. Even distant islands, once content to view Kilauea's tantrums from afar, now find themselves in the crosshairs. Volcanic gases ferried on trade winds are already spawning VOG, volcanic smog, that is choking Oahu and Maui. At 3,400 tonnes per day, the ongoing emissions have long surpassed health advisory thresholds. If episode 39 amplifies this toxic outflow, millions of residents and tourists could find themselves struggling for breath. The most immediate casualty, however, may be science itself. With each eruption, Kilauea claims more instrumental victims, seismometers, webcams, temperature probes, these mechanical sentinels, our eyes and ears into the volcano's machinations, are being methodically unplugged just when their testimonies are most vital. Should Kilauea maintain its frenzied pace, even the emergency protocols will struggle to keep stride. Evacuations, roadblocks and airspace closures demand days of choreography. But with each passing hour, the once generous prediction windows narrow precariously. How do you safeguard communities against a threat that is evolving faster than your contingency plans? 
When the very mountain underfoot charts an unpredictable trajectory. It is December the 19th, 2025, and Kilauea's ominous watch status looms over the big island like a sword of Damocles. The summit's relentless inflation, now 25 times the historical average, betrays a mountain stretched to its magmatic limits. Sulfurous fumes spew skyward, unabated, shrouding the island in an acrid pall. Every data point converges on the same inescapable conclusion. Episode 39 will commence within the next 120 hours. At the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, a battery of bleary-eyed scientists pours over a deluge of disquieting data. Dr. James Sutton, a USGS volcanologist, says we are in uncharted territory. Kilauea's current behaviour defies our textbook understanding of episodic eruption mechanics. For all their computational prowess, the once trusty predictive models now strain against Kilauea's dizzying cadence. Algorithms calibrated to forecast weeks in advance now output mere days with growing reticence. The accuracy endures, but the specificity erodes with each passing hour. Herein lies the fundamental enigma. Is Kilauea's quickening pulse a transient blip on a well-established baseline, or does it portend a more profound geophysical metamorphosis? Could this rapacious inflation signal a magmatic surge from the volcano's deep underbelly? Or perhaps it betrays a subterranean restructuring, a plumbing overhaul that is redrawing the magma's upward path. If the pattern persists, episode 39 will erupt within a 120-hour window with characteristic violence, perhaps even overshadowing its predecessors in output and fury. But should the sequence falter, should the mathematics governing nearly 40 prior episodes suddenly unravel, then we are faced with a magmatic mutiny, an outburst exceeding instrumentation precedent. Five days, 7,200 fleeting minutes during which a mountain, renowned for annihilating scientific equipment and raining fist-sized projectiles will strain our predictive capabilities to the breaking point. 120 hours to decipher whether Kilauea's metronomic precision belies a looming systemic failure. The summit swells with unseen urgency. The data points to imminent upheaval. But when geologic time compresses into human hours, prognostication becomes a precarious gamble. And with lives, livelihoods, and our very volcanic comprehension hanging in the balance, the stakes have never felt so seismic. In the end, it falls to episode 39 to adjudicate our scientific hubris. Will Kilauea's 39th encore reaffirm our hard-earned geophysical insights, or will it expose the folly of applying Newtonian certainty to roiling planetary forces? As the clock ticks toward eruption, an army of instruments stands sentinel, while a coterie of algorithms computes tirelessly. But the true arbiter of our volcanic knowledge lies smouldering beneath this storied summit, biding its time until the decisive moment. Subscribe to Earth Metax to witness scientific history in the making. The next five days will either vindicate our volcanic acumen or usher in a new era of geologic humility. Because when the Earth's ancient rhythms accelerate beyond our mortal reckoning, every mountain becomes a teacher and every tremor a test of our intellectual limits.